Behind me, in case you've been off planet, is the construction site for the new arena. One of the great things about Edmonton is we have a percent for art policy in place, which means that 1% of qualifying capital construction budgets goes towards new, often large-scale permanent artworks, destinations unto themselves. This is the rink's Northwest Plaza, and it's where Essential Tree is going to stand. Made by a Berlin company called Realities United, it'll be a 46-foot-tall blow-up of the little trees found in architectural models. This one made of faceted steel and painted white. And you won't have to wait decades for it to grow to get proper shade. I like this idea because it's a bit of a comment on the hilariously grandiose scale of this project, and it'll be a nice match to the forest of new trees they're planting in the area. Next up is Saskatchewan artist Douglas Bentham's Skater's Arch on the Northeast Plaza. Also steel, this will be a 19-foot circle the artist designed to be sat in and interacted with, and it kind of looks like the exploding CBC logo for all you classic Hockey Night in Canada fans. On the east side of the arena will be the community skating rink, and within its corridors we'll be seeing Al Henderson's figures in motion. This one's pretty cool because it looks like an abstract from a distance, but as you approach, figures of skaters will pop out, so it's both abstract and representational. And above us, on the floor of the Winter Garden, what I'm just thrilled about is Alec Janvier's Iron Foot Place, a 1,600 square foot floor tile mosaic. It'll look like a beautiful pond in Janvier's trademark style. I'm already imagining little kids running along its lines, finding images inside its abstract forms. These artworks are due to be finished and in place by the rink's grand opening in September 2016, and no doubt the art will make the core a visually richer place.